Base side coach John White. Coach, homecoming win, how's it feel? Uh, it's, it was ugly, but it was good. And just to, you know, it's kind of funny. I was about to say it feels good to be 3-3, three and three, but that's not the truth. It feels good to get another win. Um, man, you know, we, we had a good resolve today. We, we had some little issues, but we stepped up in the right manner. We gave them one, one pretty good drive, you know, with some penalties. And <clears throat> we dropped the interception that would have gone our way. Um, for touchdowns, so but we found ourselves and you know, found our footing, so we're okay. One twenty-four to eight. Can you talk to me about what was what was kind of dirty about that? Um, well, you know we don't have TV timeouts. We don't have a, a lot of time to, for t for takeaways or turnovers and everything like that. So if you give a bullet to your gun in high school ball, with the time that you're given, you have the momentum early. And uh, we didn't do that. We almost did. I thought on one pass. I thought we were about to get it. You know, get the ball away. But we took it away from them twice, and it could have really turned the tide in the game. But you know, we stepped up and, and did some good things. How did you get this team ready for tall when they have Gunnar White, DK McKelvin back there, one-two punch? It's funny you say that. We got our guys ready for Tallwood because all I did was emphasize Gunnar. You know, last year we did a decent job containing them. We were physical with, um, you know, our all-region uh, uh, safety, you know, the Cole Bernard Saunders. Um, but this year, I ended up with uh, Kevin Jenkins and Dale Middleton and, uh, you know, Aiden Pick, and especially uh, Justice Merritt off the edge. And shot morning, we did a good job of getting to them early. Like those guys, if they get two, three, it can be 20 real fast. So we did a good job getting to them. So that was big. How much did it help having the film from last week, Tallwood comes to have a seen what he can do like that? Well, um, for some reason, a lot of folks are running 34 this year and in variances of 34. So we thought that we could match up big on big in a certain way <clears throat> with our personnel. And it worked well. I felt like defensive back-wise, we'll be okay with what the quarterback was doing and what their threats look like at receiver. And, uh, you know, I mean, all film, you know, helps. You know, if we would have had a practice room, I would have took it. But it is what it is. So I was happy with what we got. Coach, it's, you know, Bayside's known for all the skill athletes you guys produced over the years with Demetrius Nicholson and Smoke Mizell, Quinn Blending, the list goes on and on. I think going in, you felt you'd be a physical defense. You mm -hmm. started out there that way with a shutout. Then you had the Kellum game where you couldn't get a lot of stops. The last two games, your defense is really locked down. Dylan Middleton up front, Kevin Jenkins with 10 tackles today, Justice Merrill with nine. Do you feel like your identity kind of left and now it's come back in a way? Or Yeah, I told my guys, man, to be honest with you, um, Matt and Reese, honestly, I, I told my guys, said Kellum game was my fault. Calvin game was my fault. I told him I, I, I thought I was confident in the scheme. I had a meeting that I had to go to. I missed the defensive day practice. I said it was my fault. You know, I should have been there for you, so on and so forth, blah, blah, blah. I ate it. It was what it was, you know. Um, ironically enough, I said that game was my fault. We turned around and played Landstown and lose. Um, I can't take the bit or take the responsibility of six turnovers. Um, but, you know, for our DBs, you know, Abraham Evans and, um, you know, Jalen Miller, Jalen Miller, who had interception today, mm -hmm. Up, um, Jermaine Smith and uh, you know R.J. Dixon as well as um, um, Devin Hicks. You know those guys play very well back there. They communicate with the rooms very well. So I fixed the box. We didn't change coverages. We just did our thing the right way. And if they slip up, you know we capitalize. If they don't slip up, it's our job to force them to. to Make a mistake. Last one for me. Uh, your quarterback and receiver, the passing combination with Nick Young, who we've seen has got that potential. Now he's starting to really flourish this year, two touchdowns a day, and then Deshaun Wright. Looks like their timing and chemistry is starting to really evolve here as you get to that playoff run here. What have you seen from the passing game uh, today in particular? Well, those the two of them are close. I mean, they're, they're basically brothers. I mean, if you call one, you'll hit the other one in the background, along with uh, Tejon Reese. Um, <clears throat> now, rock enough, uh, G-Baby will be around. He, he's always around to be with him also. So they have good relationships. We got a good old line that protects him, so he has his time, and we got a good running back that helps him carry the load. You know, he just finds his rhythm with Nick the most because Nick is taller. He knows that Nick can jump out the gym and jump on anybody. Um, you know, he's good at uh, the scramble drill, meaning if it's shallow, he gets deep, and if he deep, gets shallow, so on and so forth. So, with all that being said, we know that he can rhythm and throw the ball to him. Um, the biggest thing we want to see him do is kind of not necessarily spread it out, but go through some of the tribute tributary things because we know he's our main guy. Last question for me. Coming into the Princess Anne game, you guys were 1-3. and 3-3 three. Mm -hmm. three three now. You've got four games left. It can go either way from here. What do you see the outlook for your team? you got Green Run next week, correct? Green Run next week. Okay. Um, <clears throat> well, uh, we think that the beach, you can't, you, you know, you can't take any day off, anything like that. And I'm, and I'm still happy with how our schedule is because we don't have a bye week coming up. I'm actually okay with that because it puts everything right there in perspective. Things aren't far off because this week felt kind of long with all the festivities and the weather going up and down like crazy. I'm just glad no one 
caught a cold. You know, it just happens. I mean, wow. serious. Yeah, I did, but Except that's okay. Guy named Matt <laughs> oh, uh, but, but, uh, but, nah, but, um, you know, having things right there and having the familiarity with the uh, friendship cup, mm-hmm. you know, works well for us. Um, you know, it, it, it's it's around the corner for us, so we think that we match up well with everybody else that we see. We know that you know high school ball, especially around here in the beach. You know, it's more based upon not so much scheme, but it's mm-hmm. based upon how you scheme your personnel versus their personnel. So that being said, well, as soon as we get the film, we'll get to work. And, uh, and make it happen. So going forward, it's catch touchdowns, not colds, right? Excuse me? Going forward, it's catch touchdowns, not colds, right? Yes, sir. We'll grind them in. Yes, sir. Should be a fun one on Friday night at Delia Drive with the Marlins Italian. Thanks so much, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah.